Now we're going to Portugal with Uvo Renegado. Um, and I'm really excited to finally have a couple of their wines and hopefully we'll be getting more of them soon. I love um, their production. I think that they make some really fun and uh, like great price performing wines there. Um, so I liked picking this one for the summer because it is so a glue glue porch pounder chill the crap out of that red is it a red is it a rosé is it a mix like it's a co-ferment it's 25 varieties like it's just fun so we'll just lay the groundwork for that that this is a fun wine don't take it seriously do not like like it would taste fine I've had it when it's like at room temperature and it's still delicious but like it is a yummy chill it enjoy it drink it outside for your friend that only likes red wine but you can't let them have that like gross cabs off or whatever while they're sitting outside maybe not cabs off I don't think it will. who knows people might go that far um so yeah so that's that's where we'll start with this so like I said it's 25 different varieties um a mix of red and a few white uh the color is honestly you know I guess I mean like light when we're we're categorizing it as a red wine we're getting into this rosé category now but we're categorizing it as a red wine so as a red wine this is a very light red wine um or I guess like you know blended, co-fermented, whatever, red and white wine. Uh, on the nose, I can certainly tell the white aspects of, uh, of this wine right away. Like the first things I'm getting are, I'd love to know, <laughs> I wish I had that list of 25 grapes because I'd love to know what they are because there's certainly an aromatic white grape in here. What it is, I don't know, but it's like, you know, like when you like smell a Gewurztraminer or another, uh, like a uh, would be another good one, like a Shannon maybe it has like that type of quality to it. Uh, and it certainly feels like a light white wine, but then as you get deeper into it, oh yeah. So I would recommend first start by sniffing like a pier because you're going to get more of those aromatic qualities. But if you just immediately put your nose in, you're going to lose those. You're never going to know they were there because right when you get your nose in, you're getting right into some of that red fruit and it's just going to mask everything else that's there. So you got to kind of explore, you know, explore the mouth, explore the, the top of the glass with your nose so that you can really get all the aspects of it. So I would say like at the top, at least in the sides, I'm getting like strawberries, I'm getting cranberries, not watermelon. Like we're not going super rosé with this one, but then down here, I would say it's like a mix of like light, dark cherries, like underripe dark cherries maybe and um uh like stone fruit honestly like which one I don't know but ap apricot maybe so there's just there's a lot going on here but again still fun still fresh and we're gonna feel that more on the palate so let's try it it's just like a little fruit bomb that explodes and then it just like like it does not have actually I'm I'm I spoke too soon like I'm still getting some nice fruit characteristics there so yeah overall yummy glue glue wine definitely chill it um as far as pairing goes let's like really just what honestly like put it with whatever uh I don't say that very often but this is one of those wines where I'm just going to be like you do you if you want to have like your you know filet mignon on like and drink it out or eat it outside uh, and you want to have like a red wine with it whatever is it going to be perfect with it no but like this wine has so many grapes in it and so many aspects that like could be slightly pulled from to go with whatever you're eating that like I don't really believe you're going to go that wrong of course there are some things that I don't think would taste that great but like yeah I'm going to just call this one and say you do you on this one you want pizza great you want chicken nuggies awesome you want your like seafood pasta, like cool. It's gonna, it's gonna do well. It's not gonna be like maybe what I would love, but whatever you're excited about eating. And if you're really feeling having a, like a glue glue wine, like this is it, do that. So you have my permission, whatever you want, pair it with it, <laughs> have fun.